All right, guys, so here we have it. GTX 980 reference. I'm going to be trying to use reference cards for just about everything, including the 970 that we'll have later. <clears throat> this is just kind of a uh, eh, short 24-hour review of the Razer Core. It is light, portable, I mean, to an extent. Uh, just as Razer had said before, lugging it around in a backpack is possible. Makes it really simple when all the games that I play only require a controller. And it's wired. Um, you just need the Thunderbolt 3 and the power cable with the core. Obviously your laptop. Um, so let's go ahead and pop the 980 in real quick. Should be fairly simple, hopefully one-handed. Let's slide that over. As you can tell, I still have everything out. And I did take it last night to my friend's home to install all of the NVIDIA driver goodness. Oh, sorry, forgot that little screw in here. Go ahead and be real gentle. And this is just kind of a card for me to benchmark, see what we can do with this. And fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on who you are and what you're trying to do with this later on. But I do not have an external monitor right now. So we will only be seeing a maximum of 60 frames, no matter what. But that just means that we get to run everything at higher than 1080 and that's always fun another thing none of this is paid for by anybody other than my own wallet so everything I have to say here is because it's my own money and that's it GTX 980 is in there let's go ahead and put that back in again one-handed operation it is slightly heavy cables are going to get a little muffed up here sorry Get that slide right in. The cables are the only problems that I have with this, getting a graphics card in and out. <clears throat> Go ahead and spin this around. Get a nice view. You can kind of see the 980 in there. Looks pretty, as always. And uh, I'm going to plug it back in. Obviously, really simple. One plug, one Thunderbolt right above it. And here we go. So, razor blade stealth, Thunderbolt 3 cable. Everybody's wondering about the plug and play. And let's go into it. Plugged it in. Should be getting something here soon. Maybe not. Try it again. Oh, no. I'm not being smart. Let me try this again. Alright, so now that the power cord on the core is actually plugged in, let's take the Thunderbolt 3, plug that right in. As you can see, lights come on, everything starts moving. Razor blade stealth gets a little brighter because it's plugged in and no longer on battery. <clears throat> let's try and get razor snaps. No, not right now. And, uh, so that's it right now. Oh, it's also a huge fingerprint magnet. So now that we have the GTX 980 reference card in here, uh, I'll get a couple benchmarks going. Don't really have a lot of games, so it might just be 3D Mark. We'll see. I'm going to try and get a friend's Steam account, run some other games. But again, we're not going to see more than 60 off of the Razer Blade Stealth screen. But we can hit 4K, so let's try and see what we can do with that. Thanks, guys.